Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing SOG Prairie Fire for Microsoft Windows via Steam. SOG Prairie Fire is a paid DLC for Armour 3. In this creator DLC, you play as a member of a covert special ops unit. Prairie Fire was developed in collaboration with advisors from the US military to bring an authenticity to the Vietnam War experience. So what's it like to play? Well, as a member of the Spike Team Columbia, you undertake missions spread throughout the 300 square kilometer map. Missions start at one of the six forward operating bases where you've got to gear up for the mission ahead. Choosing your loadout is key as the equipment you take will weigh you down, which has a bearing on your stamina with dangerous implications when traversing the terrain. The DLC features many new era appropriate weapons for the US and South Vietnamese armies, the Viet Cong and PAVN factions. Campaign scenarios were written with guidance from former recon team members of the US Special Forces and they do have a kind of grounded quality. You'll be carrying out covert ops, locating enemies, blocking convoys, saving comrades or just destabilizing opposing forces on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Combat situations are genuinely tense and tactical and they go on for some time as you navigate the terrain to get the advantage. Rushing between cover, searching for supplies or engaging in firefights. These moments really are the standout, but they aren't as prevalent as you'd expect. What I mean is most of the missions involve logistics, getting from A to B, and dealing with your stamina limitations and taking care as your squad works towards the objective. Much like the base game, success here is heavily linked to squad communication and teamwork. The campaign may not be as broad as I was hoping, but for a DLC, it does a decent job of adding something new and replicating the Vietnam War locations and situations. A special mention has to go to the map, which is a vast expansive region that adds a great sense of scale to your operations. Finally on gameplay, Prairie Fire adds quite a few new elements that are worth mentioning. You can use earplugs, the vehicle has a jukebox, there's a new melee system for close quarters, there's tree platforms and foxholes were also added. Visually, the Armour 3 game, you know, it is a bit dated, but this DLC does a decent job of freshening it up a little. The map looks realistic and the new weapons, items and other features suit the situation. And on the whole, I think visually, they did a good job. The voices range from the well-suited to ones that felt very unnatural. The music, there's high moments, yes, but there's also tracks that really didn't suit very well. And I'd also say the volume leveling is a bit off, like the music's too loud, the voices are too low, sound, you know, things felt like they weren't quite balanced correctly at times, not always, just here and there. Okay, what's good and what's bad, what's good? The map felt pretty authentic to the Vietnamese region, new items and features add a new flavour to the armour gameplay experience, most of the voice acting was believable, the missions are interesting and a challenge to complete, combat skirmishes are genuinely satisfying with cover, Tactics, terrain, positioning and squad play being vital to success. What's bad? The game is quite buggy and suffers a fair amount of technical issues. The musical soundtrack is hit and miss and missions evolve a lot of logistics which may grow tiresome for a lot of gamers. So what's the verdict? SOG Prairie Fire is a solid DLC for Armour 3 that adds a believable experience set in the midst of the Vietnam War. It may lack the razzmatazz of conventional computer games centering around the conflict. Yes, it's like stripped back gameplay that Armour 3 offers won't be for everyone and the same can be said for this DLC. Saying that, I did enjoy the challenge it offers but yes, the logistics side was a bit of a bore. It may add realism, dealing with stamina, travelling long distances, etc. But in this age of bloated open worlds, I think we're all getting a bit tired of that. And Prairie Fire could have done with a little bit more snap to the structure. But overall, it's a decent experience and one I did enjoy for the most part. So my score for SOG Prairie Fire is 7 out of 10. Okay, that's the review. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.